Nicosia or Lycosia, the capital city of Cyprus. Today we are doing a bit of a self-guided walking tour around the city and uh, yeah, I'm going to bring you along, so let's get out there. Nicosia or the Greek thing, Lycosia is the capital city of Cyprus and also the world's only partition capital. If you're new to the history of Cyprus, there's been a lot of conflict between the Greek and the Turkish Cypriots throughout history. Ewan has created a so-called buffer zone, which divides the country into a northern Turkish section and a southern Greek area. This line goes right through the capital of Nicosia, dividing the city into two parts. I'm using the application called GPS My City, and you can download these walking tours so that they're available offline. So we can see the city introduction walk here, and we've got the pinpoints, and then we have all of the different sites here. And you can just press on that one, and then you can just uh, read up on uh, what it is. Now at the Omurye Mosque, we press on that, and we can see it's this one here and we can read some information about it. It's a unique mosque transformed from a gothic style church in the Greek portion of Nicosia. Augusta Gate. It's one of three city gates. It was built by the Venetians to protect themselves from uh, attacks from the Ottomans. We are now heading to Ledra Street where you can find one of the six uh, border crossings from south of Cyprus to the north um, and in between it is a, a UN uh, buffer zone uh, which is controlled by the UN and then in the south you have the Greek Cyprus living and in the north it's the Turkish Cyprus so uh, yeah I'm going to see if it's possible to uh, walk over the border and uh, visit uh, North Nicosia or North Lycosia, um, which will be very interesting to see the differences between the city. During my time in Nicosia, the border crossing was unfortunately closed, but normally you're able to walk to the Turkish side and explore. I will insert a list of sites that you can see on the Turkish side as well. We have made it to the Shalokas Tower, which is located by Ledra Street. Between 10 and 6 every day you can take the elevator to the 11th floor and uh, get some amazing views over the city. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of an insider tip if you're looking for some views. Uh, there is also like a observation museum which costs 2 euro 50 to enter. <laughs> of one of the best restaurants in the city, Elisan Plant-Based Kitchen Bar. It is one of a very few plant-based restaurants in the city and has the perfect ambience and delicious food. So check that out. We have now made it back to the car. It's currently 34 degrees centigrade, so it's boiling. I had a lovely time exploring Nicosia and I hope that you found it very interesting and uh, inspiring uh, if you are looking to see what you can see and do in Nicosia. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.